And hello from Lights and Gear. We have a new battery charger to talk about today from the folks at My Boxer. If you've watched any of my other videos or have seen the My Boxer chargers, usually for slaughters that we've talked about, then you may be slightly familiar with the kind of product they do put out. And um, this uh, goes along with what My Boxer has released in the past as far as uh, quality and so forth. And with the C8, they have added, of course, a few extra slots. So here we have the first MyBoxer 8 slot uh, smart charger, and uh, it's a nice unit. It does exactly what it says it does, and uh, does it with, um, with pretty good accuracy as well. So as you look at the box here, of course, you can see um, some basic um, pieces of information. Of course, it'll charge just about any type of rechargeable battery from lithium-ion to NIMH, NICD, and so forth. And um, it uh, goes, it has a reasonably fast um, output up to 1.5 amps. And you can select the amount of charge that you want to put in a particular battery, or you can let the charger select the uh, current on its own. Um, on the back, it does have a bit more information. It, of course, uh, stops charging when the battery is full, does not apply a trickle charge, and has uh, reverse battery and short circuit protection, and so forth and so on. So, inside the box, here is the manual, which goes into depth, of course, on all its features. Uh, elsewhere in the box, you get the power cord, which will be in this box over here. Uh, pretty standard... Um, the standard power adapter. I'll be uh, using one that I already have plugged in, so of course this is a pretty standard unit and will do the job as most other um, type of adapters. Well, uh, this happens to be a 3 amp, 12 volt, 12 volt 3 amp on this one, on the one they give you. So. Uh, anyway, let's uh, take a look at the unit here. And as I say, I mean, it looks... Most, a lot of chargers today have similarities in their appearance, and there's only so much they can do to make one, to make any one of them look different than any other. Has your standard slots here, or your standard buttons here to choose the slot you're on, and to uh, change the mode. You can change the uh, type of battery if you want. I mean, as soon as you put a battery in, the machine will detect what kind of battery is and begin charging based on its, um, based on its capacity and so forth. So you can, you can have it go completely automatic or you can change a couple of settings if you desire. Just a little bit of um, info there on the back. Uh, of course, it charges just about any kind of battery you can throw at it. So, uh, there's your connector on the back, of course. And if you've seen my boxer before, then you may very well be familiar with their display, which looks pretty similar to the other chargers that I have. And, of course, once you put a battery in there, everything comes to life. I have a number of different size batteries here that we can uh, give a quick uh, a quick test on. So let's take um, a standard uh, 16340. Uh, yep, this is a C, this is a, a 16340. So one of those, and as soon as that goes in, everything starts letting you know what's going on with that battery. It's lithium ion. It's 4.2 volts. Uh, this battery right now is 65% charged already, and the voltage on it is 3.98. It is, and there's your resistance there, which it's flashing. The, the resistance toggles automatically with the uh, amperage that the charger is putting in the battery at the moment, so that toggles back and forth. Uh, there, there, your display just uh, timed out. Uh, it's only putting in 0.20 at the moment. And, of course, over on this side will be your timer. 
and uh, that will also show the MAH. That will also show the capacity and uh, so forth of the battery. So, as it says in the manual, you can set the type of battery you want. And, of course, you can set the charging current. So, here are the choices here, whether it be a lithium-ion or an NIMH. And for lithium-ion, you can set it anywhere, anywhere from 0.1 up to 1.5. And for the NIMH, it can be anywhere from 0.1 up to 1 amp, up to 1.0. So those are your choices for each battery type. And uh, here where, here's where it describes setting all the slots simultaneously to the same setting. So this would perhaps also indicate that you can um, set some settings uh, individually if you so desire. Now it talks about here, talks about uh, measuring the capacity of the battery and uh, right now it does say um, 0207 on this one in here and it is flashing the MAH is flashing um, now of course it'll also perform other functions if a battery is dead it'll be able to revive it it does have um, battery activation a battery activation uh, function in there and it also has um, a restoration of a lithium battery if the battery has discharged to zero volts, etc., and appears not useful anymore. It will try to do what it can to restore the battery and will show error if for whatever reason it can't. So uh, those are the features of the, of the unit. Let's um, take another battery here. Uh, larger cell right here now. This is uh, a 2-1. 700 I have here so we can place that over here and uh, these uh, slots are very nice they're very uh, very flexible the charger is new of course so at the moment they don't stick or anything but uh, they're very very nice uh, very nice spring action so there the second battery has been placed and of course that'll start to gear that one up it's at 3.66 volts right now 26 percent of uh, total capacity uh, here is a 26650 so I'm putting that one in and uh, notice that I am placing it right next to the 21700 so I've now placed it right next to the 21700 see that and uh, it's fitting very well uh, here you have an 18650 uh, you can put that one in, um, uh, or you can take um, an NIMH, here's an Eneloop, something other than lithium-ion for a change. So we can put that in uh, slot number 5, and now slot number 5 is waking up, and that says right there it is an NIMH battery. It's at 1.27 volts. And it started charging that one as well. Now if I press the slot button, of course, that'll toggle through each of the slots, giving me the individual information about what's going on with each battery. And the mode switch is what you would press as in the instructions to make any changes that you would like. So in this regard, what I'm doing right now is going through the choices of battery number two, or slot number two. I long pressed the mode switch and then gave it a short press, and then with each one of these presses, it's giving me the options of the different amperages, uh, the different currents which I can choose to, to, uh, to charge that battery in. So you can slow it down or presumably speed it up as long as it'll handle that. So that's what you can do there if you want to change anything at all. Now what most chargers do, and you'll see it's doing it in this case on slot number three, is as the battery nears capacity, this is at 96% and at 4.2 volts basically, 
so it's only putting in a very it's only it's putting a very slight charge in it's only putting 0 0.6 amps in it right now so that's what they'll do if you even set it for a higher charge or whatever depending on the current status of the battery the charger will ultimately make up its mind and uh, do what it thinks it's best at that particular for that particular time so uh, right now this is only getting a very low charge and that's what happens with all batteries once they get almost up to up to uh, being full a little bit of time has passed and what I did in the uh, interim there was to uh, was to have placed another battery a battery that was um, pretty much um, that didn't have a whole lot of discharge on it I put that in on the end just to let you see when a battery is full so um, this one on the end is a cheap ultrafire battery but I put that in a short time ago and as I say it didn't have a lot of it it wasn't discharged a lot so it's done and as it says here it's a hundred percent 4.20 volts but I mean uh, it shows the nominal voltage of 4.2 when it's finished it won't be 4.2 normally it'll be somewhere and it could be anywhere between 4.2 uh, 4.12 and uh, and 4.20 but um, that's what a lot of chargers do they don't actually show the actual charge when finished or the actual voltage I should say they just show a nominal voltage of what theoretically they should be so it's always best to run the battery through a tester once you get it off the charger just to see what the actual charged voltage is but anyway, as you can see here, it shows that the resistance of the battery when it's finished and shows that it is full. And uh, it uh, only took um, nine minutes to charge this battery, and it only put in 32 mAh. Anyway, and of course up here, it's not flashing anymore. It is solid, whereas all the others are still flashing, and they're still charging. So that's the MyBoxer C8 charger if you like the way it looks you can pick one up on amazon the link is below within the description and um, you can get one at a reasonably decent price over there and go to town on all your batteries uh, i think it's a good charger it's as good as any other my boxer that i have seen it just it has the capacity to do more batteries at one time so often that's something that you might need so uh, thanks for watching the video. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you do have any questions or comments, of course, let me know below and clear up anything we haven't already discussed. And uh, that's it for now. You can check lightsandgear.com for more flashlights, batteries, and chargers, and more. So thanks for watching today, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.